Hi guys, as you know, I took a road trip through Southern and Central Africa and now I'm back with all the highlights from my favorite adventures on the trip. I covered six countries in six months and there were many highlights to choose from, but I managed to handpick a few to share with you guys. Hey guys, let's quit our jobs and travel the world. One, two, three. Jumping off a cliff! Woo! Let's kick things off in Namibia. My hostess Ruth took me to her village home in Mukundu in northern Namibia so that I could spend the day with a neighboring family belonging to the Sand Tribe, one of the oldest tribes in the world. So Ruth and I have chosen to sleep in this hut. Let me just give you a tour. Outdoor shower situation. Nice. We got dressed in our traditional regalia as instructed by the San. Hi, I'm Kosa. I'm Chokwe. And, and we're, we're all, all African. African. <laughs> and then we headed to the compound of one San family. <laughs> On our way to the compound, sat Dibana with some other sand women who had heard that we were headed there and wanted to see us. So Sambani saw and cake. But first we picked some wild fruit for the road. <laughs> Ruta, you said oh, we must pick the darker ones, ne? The ones that look like brown. <laughs> oh, thank you. These ones. Nompundu. Mm -hmm. Okay. Pff, it's called Nompundu. In Rukangal, it's Nompundu. In Chokwe, it's Ndengo. Rukwangali is the predominantly spoken language in this village, Mukundu. But Ruth speaks Chokwe, and that's the language she's been teaching me. That's why I make reference to it. Oh my god. In Kun, the, la the name of the language is Kun. It's called Mua. It's called Mua in Kun, which is a sand. So, Ruth is teaching me how to greet in Rukwangali. Let's go, Rute. Greet me, Rute. You are the old one. So okay, let me greet you. I'm the old one. Yes. Nawa. Now. Which way? Okay, start. Okay, Nawa. Okay. Nawa. And then if I say Ngapi. I say Nawa. Nawa. Okay. So, guys, here are the rules. If a person say, starts with Nawa, which is how are you, you respond E, Ao, and then they will say Nawa, which is I'm good. If they start with Ngapi, then you say Nawa or Ne, and then they say Nawa. So yeah, I was asking them, I was telling them, I don't know this E, Ao, like that they say, this long thing that they say, and then they, were, and then they taught me the rules. So yeah, now you guys also know the rules. To hear similarities between Chokwe and my home language is it closer. Check my Rundu highlight on Instagram. Whew, Satisafik. Three boiling kilometers later. This is what their settlement looks like. As I was starting to ask myself, why don't they build structures that better keep out the elements, like mud huts? I remembered that Angoba Kosa Aba, this is a whole different tribe with a whole different culture. Also, didn't I leave South Africa to experience different ways of living? Come on, Pops. I'm sure nowadays there are also economic reasons as to why they live like this. But certainly, traditionally, as nomadic people, they weren't trying to tie themselves down with mud hats. Anyway, time for introductions. Name. Okay. Okay. 
So you say, I say ngoro, and then they also speak Rugangali, so Ruth is translating. Okay, okay, cool. Water is Ooh, and then the party really started. Guys, I'm about to drink the traditional beer. It's called Kari. Okay. Ainuki. Yo. Mm, I don't like it. It's super sour. Now Ruth is gonna try. <laughs> ah, Ruth doesn't like Miji. Miji's drank it before. He says it's okay, so nothing to see here. <laughs> After introductory drinks, they put on a mini show for us. They don't clap their hands like this, like we do as Tose. They sort of cap them to make a reverberating sound like. Uh, pops, maybe if I go to the house, I will be seated. Grande, Chidima! Grande, Chidima! Grande, Chidima! Grande, Chidima! Grande, Chidima! Grande, Chidima! Grande, Is fat. Uh -uh, I didn't come all the way from McDonald's just to watch. Put me in, coach. <laughs> oh, can we just take a moment for that beautiful voice and that natural ear for rhythm? Phew, I'm spent. Let's refuel. So they say that they survive off of these. Ruta, they survived off of these when or now or sometimes before. Oh, long time ago. They used to survive off of these. Oh, more seeds came. And now mush and the lamb. This one you can't eat raw. You must boil it and then you eat it with pap. Uh, Benan, I hope Gumili Milo Bonfulon is out to be lies to this bone fundic. Then it is unpacked. Oh, oh, so I should read Tabib Swain. Oh, well, guess I misunderstood. You know, language barrier and all. What do they use it for? So the oil of the almond yes. they mix with the yeah. red yeah. thing yeah. Oh, and apply like lotion. Okay. Face card never declines. Gorgeous. Oh no, not more singing. I just came here to chat with you guys. I, I didn't come here for a show. You, you can relax. But Shem, I think they just wanted to minimize the awkwardness. Where's our shallas tea? You guessing our van? Who are you guys playing rock, paper, scissors? Can I join? Mm, not quite.
quiet. Okay, then I'll just sit and watch. Okay, To book your visit with the San family in Mukundu, Namibia, hit up my girl Ruth. Contact details in description box. See you next week for another highlight of my road trip to Ghana. I'll be covering a new country. You don't want to miss it.